The objective is to decompose and compose fractions greater than 1 to express them in various forms. What do I have here? Right, 13 fifths. How many fifths make up 1? How many fifths make up 1? Right, 5 fifths. Let's count by 5 fifths. That would be 5 fifths, then what? 10 fifths, then what? 15 fifths. We only have 13 fifths, so we won't need to get as high as 15 fifths. Let's decompose 13 fifths using a bond to show 10 fifths and the remaining fraction. So here's my bond where I've broken apart 13 fifths into 10 fifths, and what's the remaining fraction? Did you say 3 fifths? Why did I choose 10 fifths? Well, 10 fifths can be rewritten as how many holes? Right, 2. So let's write an addition sentence for 13 fifths. 13 fifths equals 10 fifths plus 3 fifths from our number bond. And as stated before, 10 fifths does equal 2 holes. So we have 2 plus 3 fifths. Therefore, 13 fifths does equal 2 and 3 fifths. So we used a number bond to help us write this as a mixed number. 10 fifths does equal 2. Your turn. Can you make a number bond for 16 thirds? So that we have the whole part and a fractional part. Pause the video while you do your work. Be sure to write a number sentence as well and express this as a mixed number. How many thirds did you start with? Did you go 15 thirds? 15 thirds and how many more thirds? One third more. So we have 16 thirds equaling 15 thirds plus one third, which we can rewrite as how many holes? Right. 5 holes plus 1 third, so 16 thirds is equal to 5 and 1 third. Check over your work. Let's look at 11 fourths, and this time let's use a number line. Now, again, 1 is equal to how many fourths? Right, 4 fourths. So when we have our number line, sure. We start at 0, our next whole number is 1, and we have to divide each of those holes into 4 parts. The next whole number would be 2, and again, divide it into 4 parts. Next whole number is 3, also into 4 parts. How much are each of these whole numbers worth? Right, force. So 1 is 4 force, 2 is 8 fourths, and 3 would be 12 fourths. So I'm not quite all the way to 3. Let's go our whole parts first. 4 fourths and 8 fourths, just as we had done before. So there's our holes. And how many holes is that? 8 fourths does equal how many holes? Right, 2. Well, it's written right there, right? And then, if I've only traveled 8 fourths, I still need to travel 3 more force 1, 2, and 3 to be able to get to my number. So I travel that fractional part of 3 force. And then so my number sentence is 8 force 
plus 3 fourths, which equals 2 plus 3 fourths, which equals 2 and 3 fourths. So 11 fourths does equal 2 and 3 fourths. Your turn. Use a number line to rewrite this as the sum of wholes and the sum of a fractional part. So we can decompose it. Pause the video while you do your work. Starts with 0, 1, which is also equal to 5 fifths, 2, which is also equal to 10 fifths, 3, which is equal to 15 fifths, and how many more fifths would we need? Only 2 more fifths, so we go 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, four lines to divide it into five parts. Travel our holes first, which is three holes, which is also equal to 15 fifths. And then we just have to travel two more fifths. You might have written this all out where you had the whole number three and also had the whole number of four to separate it into five parts. That would have worked out as well. Did you write your number sentence? 15 fifths plus 2 fifths, which is equal to 3 and 2 fifths. We know that 15 fifths is equal to 3 wholes. Think 15 divided by 5. And then we still had those 2 fifths there. We could work this out as 15 fifths is 3 wholes times 5 fifths is 3 5 fifths. Look, 5 fifths, 10 fifths, 15 fifths. 3 times 5 fifths. That way we know what our holes are, so we could write this as partly a multiplication problem as well with that 3 within there. So that's our 3 holes because that's 3 times 1. Still adding in the 2 fifths, that fractional part. Can you make all of these fractions into mixed numbers? What would you do? Well, we think 9 divided by 3, which is 3 wholes. 3 thirds, 6 thirds, 9 thirds. We would count by force here, 4 force, 8 force, 12 force, 16 force. So that would be four holes, and then there would only be one left over. 19 thirds, think 19 divided by 3, because it's 3 thirds and 6 thirds and 9 thirds, 12 thirds, 15 thirds, and even 18 thirds. 18 thirds is already e equal to six holes, and then I only need one more third to get to 19. So we have ways to convert these fractions over into whole numbers and or mixed numbers.